Hi friends, this is Chitra from Vyans Medical Academy of Knowledge. Today I am here to explain you about locomotion and movement. My lecture flow in this pattern. The pattern starts from the first point, order structure of the skeletal muscle, and second mechanism of muscle contraction. Our third flow, muscle fiber types, and our last point of discussion, muscular system disorders. Dear friends, do you know the difference between locomotion and movement? Let us discuss the difference between locomotion and movement. Friends, first observe my hand. This is my hand. As a human being, I am capable to turn my hand to right side. And I am also capable to turn my hand to left side. I am turning my hand from right to left and from left to right. This is called movement. This is the hand movement of my hand. Friends, I am in this location, before me and in front of me these two girls are present and this location is considered as location A and when we are walking and when I am walking my location is changed and my location is changed to before these girls. So the location is changed from location A to that from girls and from to these girls. This is called as locomotion. So finally what we conclude from this moment and locomotion is movement is defined as any visible change that is exhibited either by whole, or whole organization of the body or any part of the body. And some of the movements that result in locomotion means change of location. So before proceeding to our further topic, topic we will stop here and it's time to all of you to imagine yourself the life without movement is possible or not. If any one of you can visualize your life without movement, it is unimaginable. Why? Because movement is one of the significant features of all living beings. Plants and animals exhibit a wide range of movements. Another topic is order structure of skeletal muscle fiber. Let us study the skeletal muscle in detail to understand the structure and mechanism of contraction. This is the dichromatic representation of the whole skeletal muscle that is present in the human body. So, the outer membrane called sarcolemma is the outer membrane, plasma membrane is also called as sarcolemma is represented in this Evo diagram and the cytoplasm present in the muscle fiber is called as sarcoplasm. Each organized skeletal muscle in human body is divided into number of muscle bundles and fascicles. Each fascicle is divided into number of muscle fibers. I will discuss uh, before that uh, each muscle fiber is lined by sarcolemma and the cytoplasm present in it called as sarcoplasm. Then a characteristic study when we study about this skeletal muscle fiber it reveals that the striated appearance please all of you get the word this striated appearance is due to the alternate light and light and dark bands. Light band are called as thin band and dark band is called as thick band. So these striated appearance of alternate light and dark bands are called as myofilaments or myofibrins. So myofibrins are made up of alternate light and alternate dark bands. Then a detailed structure of skeletal muscle fiber had established that this muscle fiber is made up of very 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 important two proteins. Those two proteins are called as yactin and myosin. These are the diagrammatic representations of yactin and myosin. These actin and myosin are the contractile proteins. Then yactin is thinner when compared with the myosin filament. So, actin and myosin filaments are respectively called as thin and thick filaments. Then, actin filaments also contain two more important regulated proteins called as tropomyosin and troponin. Then, we will come to this. This is these white lines represent light band and these blue lines representing the dark band. 
the light band and the dark band are arranged alternatively across the skeletal muscle fiber this is the diagrammatic representation of the skeletal muscle fiber the thin filaments and thick filaments are arranged in a rod like structure please observe this structure this is in the form of rod like structure this uh, i said before that these are thin filaments and these are thick filaments a line joining between these thin filaments is a, is called a, is a elastic fiber called as z line and these dark lines are also held together between the thick filaments and this line is represented as m line now uh, we discuss the entire structure of the means order structure of the skeletal muscle fiber then we will firstly move on to the actin and myosin proteins first actin protein actin protein we will observe the two differentiates in this actin uh, diagrammatic representation that is pink colored effectin molecules and blue colored thrombomyosin i will discuss with you about this thrombomyosin and effectin molecules please listen this actin molecule is made up of two filaments of effectin molecules two filaments of effectin molecules and another two filaments called as thrombomyosin are also close to the close to the effectin molecules are moving across the entire length with this effectin molecules at regular intervals another important contractile protein, protein called as thrombomyosin is distributed this thrombomyosin is divided into three polypeptide units are you clear with this representation this is called as tnt and this is called as tnc and this one is tni tnc has capability to bind with the calcium ions when calcium ions are not binded with the tnc then muscle contraction does not take place when calcium ions are binded to the tnc then this tnc means troponin stabilizes the thrombomyosin complex to move away from the active sites of the actin molecule then the myosin head is ready to bind with the tnc means actin molecule then the cross bridge formation will take place next our another protein myosin myosin is a motor protein that converts the chemical energy into mechanical energy in this representation we observe three parts first one is the myosin has a globular head and second one is short arm and third one tail this head and short arm are called as heavy myosin and this single tail is called as light myosin the head and short arm at regular intervals are distances they the, this is the entire polymerized motor protein means myosin uh, this head at regular intervals means in this side it is projected outwards from this polymerized protein and forms a cross arm this is the cross arm and forms a cross arm and next globular head consists of two binding sites these are represented in two colors one is for actin binding site it represented with yellow color and another is for adp binding site it is clearly represented with pink color this is the difference between order structure of the skeletal muscle fiber actin and myosin proteins and the alternate light and dark bands in the skeletal muscle fiber we completed the order structure of the skeletal muscle successfully then we will move on to our next lecture lecture flow that is mechanism of muscle contraction friends all our body movements such as movement um, such as movement like walking or when we are running what type of uh, which structure helps us for move or walk or run that is one and only muscle muscle helps us for our movement and for our running and for our walking without muscle and without muscle contraction we can't walk and we can't run we can't eat so the very interesting topic and very and some of you feel very difficult in this topic so please more concentrate on this mechanism of muscle contraction mechanism of muscle contraction is best explained by the sliding filament theory it states that overlapping of thin filaments i introduced you 
give before thin and thick filaments. So it uh, states that the thin and th it states that the overlapping of thin filaments in or over the thick filaments. It was means this mechanism of muscle contraction was proposed by Jean Hansen and Hugh Huxley. The process means the steps involved in the mechanism of muscle contraction are as follows. The first step is excitation of skeletal muscle and second one formation of cross bridge, third one power stroke, fourth step recovery stroke and our final step relaxation of muscle. First, excitation of a muscle. If any one of you are me, when I am trying to walk in, then my brain means central nervous system send the signal to the motor neuron in my body the dichotomic representation this is the motor neuron the muscle contraction means this muscle contraction is initiated by a signal sent by the central neuron system to this motor neuron then it this from this axon filaments the neuron signal reaches the reaches the sharp column of the muscle fiber and this synaptic lobe releases the neurotransmitter called as acetylcholine. This acetylcholine generates the action potential in the, on the sarcolemma. Action potential means if you want to walk, this central nervous system sends the signal to motor neuron and this uh, motor neuron sends the signal to muscle fiber to walk. Or when you want to run, this muscle fiber sends the signal that the human being wanted to walk. So then it is activated for our walking, then it is activated for our running, for eating and anything else. Then the action potential is started in the sarco sarcolemma through the triad system. Then the cisterne present in this muscle fiber releases the calcium ions. Which I told you before, the calcium ions can bind it to the PNC binding site. Okay, next. Our topic, next point is cross bridge formation. Cross bridge formation, when active sites of the active molecule are, we know that uh, I told you before, the active sites of the active molecules are, are uh, bind by the tropomycin complex. When this calcium ion level is increases in the system of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, then the tropomyosin complex move away from the active sites of the active molecule then the myosin head means utilizing the energy released by the ATPS enzyme the myosin head is very exciting and ready to bind with this active molecule this is the myosin head and this myosin head bind to the active molecule our cross bridge formation is successfully completed then power stroke power stroke means the I told you before the thin filaments and thick filaments. When the cross pitch formation is completed, this cross pitch can, pull, can pulse. This blue line represents the thin filaments. Please note it. And thick filaments represented by pink line. And this orange color shaded line represents the Z line. The blue, blue lines means thin filaments. The thin filaments from both the sides means this side and this side, the thin filaments from both the sides are come closer. Identify the second diagram. Uh, this, this is the starting point of this thin filament. But in this second diagram, the thin filaments come closer. Then, the Z lines, which are attached to these thin filaments, are also come closer. Observe these Z lines. This Z line representing in this position, and the position of the Z line is changed. Then, at the last, the Z lines and the thin filaments comes too close and this represented means maximally contracted. First, the skeletal muscle fiber, which I told before, this is a rod like structure. It is in relaxed state. Then it contracts. Then it is maximally contracted. The important point to note, to note is the thin filaments or Z lines are reduced in their size and length. There, headstone means thick filaments are from the top means from the relaxing state and the in contracting state and the maximally contracting state. From top to bottom, the thick filaments did not change in their length. They are in their original length. Next, fourth point is relaxing state. 
relaxed state this is this four point represents relaxed state in this relaxed state the myosin head means that the myosin head want to relax uh, the myosin head want to relax and uh, the adp in the adp is released outside then observe from the third point the adp is released outside then a new adp molecule is attached to the myosin head and then cross bridge formation we, which we discussed in the second point this cross bridge is broken observe this there is no cross bridge this cross bridge is broken then when the new adp molecule is binded with this myosin head the new adp molecule hydrolyzes by again the adpase enzyme and again form this cross bridge and again the cross bridge is broken until when when we start walking uh, if you want to sit then cross bridge is broken you will ready to uh, you will unable means you will able to sit like this the mechanism of muscle contraction is completed by the end of this muscle contraction when we are sitting uh, our muscles are maximally contracted when you want to stand our muscles come to relaxed state that's why you are walking and running and eating anything else next our last interesting topic muscular system disorders and uh, before topic muscle fiber types there are two types of muscle fibers in our human body and the muscle means skeletal muscle in our muscles a oxygen storing pigment is present that is called as myoglobin when the myoglobin content is more in our body that muscles are appear in reddish color and those muscles are called as red muscle fibers these are also called as aerobic muscles when the myoglobin content in our skeletal muscle fiber is very low it appears as pale color or whitish color then that muscle fibers are called as white muscle fibers and last muscular system disorders there are three disorders first one is myasthenia gravis and second disorder is muscular dystrophy and our last point of discussion and our last disorder is tetany first myasthenia gravis myasthenia gravis means when this neurotransmitter reaches this sarcolemma then the action potential is started and we are able to walk or we are able to run when in this disorder means who are suffering with who who are suffering with myasthenia gravis the neurotransmitters cannot reach this sarcolemma because some antibodies or anti immunobodies can stop the binding site for acetylcholine uh, to the sarcolemma then that people who are suffering from myasthenia gravis cannot walk or run and their muscles become very fatigued and weakness and their muscles become very very weak next muscular dystrophy means progressive degeneration or wasting of skeletal muscles due to the genetical disorder dmd means duck and muscular dystrophy our third disorder tetany tetany means rapid muscle spasms due to contraction of muscle skeletal muscle due to rapid contraction or frequent contraction of the skeletal muscle fiber due to the low calcium levels because it arises due to the vitamin d deficiency in our body or hypoparathyroidism means underactive pyro parathyroid glands are present in their body uh, the people who are suffering with the tetany their hands are looking like this please observe uh, they are unable to open their hands the people who are not suffering from tetany they will close and they will open their hands the people the people who are suffering from tetany means my right and my right hand is showing the disease these people suffering from tetany they are unable and they are not capable because their muscles became weak and there is no relaxation or contraction between the, those muscles my dear friends i hope that all the guys understood my video do practice and memorize them do practice and practice more number of times prepare well for your exam and at last we are spent like our way of knowledge wishes you good luck for neat 2020